You got these two different slaves and basically it's separating one group of people and now putting them in a caste system in which now they're going to bicker and fight within themselves. That's like the early conditioning system of black on black crime because now you got two the same type of people but you give one a certain privilege at the other one you did not to. And what that does is like you got the house nigga thinking he's better than the field nigga. And looking at the industry, everything I've been doing with my filmmaking from Urban Rashomon to a film with the name of Antonyms of Beauty to now a film called Feel Niggas is basically telling you Antonyms of Beauty was showing you like, yo, a lot of niggas that's young cat, young cats, young photographers, they're shooting beautiful women and beautiful things, scenery, landscapes, and a lot of shit that's just beautiful. You know what I mean? And I wanted to go against that by really going into the hood and expressing the hood, taking the hood off of the hood and just showing you the head. You know what I mean? That's why a lot of my pictures are portraits. You feel me? But with this thing now, you know, you got you got the house nigga thinking that he's better than the dude that's out in the field. You know what I'm saying? But the field nigga is on some trying to really get off the plantation, kill the slave master. You know what I mean? Nat Turner was killing the slave master's babies in the cribs. You know what I mean? And 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 basically, when you look at my photography, I'm dealing with the field niggas. I'm dealing with a group of people who live outside. You know what I mean? So they don't even literally have a house. These are the homeless. You know what I mean? And they don't work. They're in and out of prison, in and out of mental hospitals and regular hospitals. And I'm just there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just there document, documenting it. I'm so street. And I got so much field nigga mentality that's my foundation. You feel me? Coming through the 5% nation, dealing with the gods, dealing with just poverty, just seeing it from just an early age, you know, in and out of Queens, in, in and out of Jamaica, Queens, getting knowledge of self at the age of 14 years old and handling it seriously from an early degree in my life to now. I'm definitely a certified field nigga, but having knowledge of self, it's like I envision myself as Christ amongst the people that Christ would surround himself with. You know what I mean? And that would be the impoverished. And that would be those who lack knowledge of self but find themselves in a situ in a circumstance that's fucked up. You know what I mean? Anyhow, the civilized perception of it is not to judge it, but to go there and bless. Whatever the situation is, just bless. And that's what I do. That's why I was able to be accepted and to make a film like this that's so deep. And listen, today's math, this is August 3rd, 2014, man. I'm just sitting in my car. It's 102 in the morning. And I just came home. I was out shooting. It was wild. But yo, the name of the film is Feel Niggas. And I'm doing this for niggas that are old, dirty, bastard people. Matter of fact, listen, G. I'm just going to actually put this out and let it run and just let it fucking run like... The intro to track to a Wu-Tang Forever when we got Risen and Jizz is just talking about the industry. And niggas fucking it up. You know what I mean? That's what this is basically going to be for the movie. Feel niggas. You know what I mean? Keep your eyes open. September. Wisdom Build Day. That's the 28th. It's a Sunday. And I'm after the degree of wisdom born now. You know, that's 29 years old. And um, Nat Turner was 31. When he ran the whole fucking... Plantation to death. Read about it. You know what I mean? And this movie is dedicated to the people that have been following me through the many venues that I use online, such as YouTube, Facebook, Tumblr, everything. Wherever I am on the internet, whatever anybody ever wrote about my work, whoever ever chose me to do an interview with them, this is who this is for, really. The people that would listen for this long to this audio recording. And secondly, the people that would sit down for 60 minutes and basically come with me to the hood, you know, just to, just to do what I do and to be with me for an hour like that. That's what this is really for. Otherwise, I would have made it shorter. You know what I mean? I would have made it fucking 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You know what I mean? Cop Maker, I took you to Jamaica and that was 15 minutes, but that was perfect because that was timeless. So the fifth, it wasn't 15 minutes. And then that's how I want you to feel with this. You sit down, you watch Phil niggas, no matter what race you are, no matter what you are, you sit down, you just watch this movie, and maybe you got something to eat. Maybe you do it on a fast. When I edit, I get an eighth of sour diesel or whatever, the green crack, 
whatever the good shit is, whatever the good smoke is at the time, and I'll just burn that down during the whole edit. So that's why I'm here pontificating, uh, you know, about this whole shit, but I'm off, all right? One, peace.